Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to be designing something very simple in Canva and it's not because of the simplicity of this design that's why we are here. It's rather because I want to use this design to be able to teach you certain things inside of Canva. So, before we get started and then before I also read the intro, this is what I want to say. I know most of you have the free version of Canva and um, you get to be worried sometimes um, for the price of Canva Pro but there's a special link I have in the description box below okay that can help you try Canva for I think 45 days or 30 days and um, you know once you're also ready to upgrade to Canva Pro you are not going to pay the full price there's a discount also on that so why not take an advantage of this and start using Canva Pro today. Let's show the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and um, you can see that uh, I everything is just blank at the moment. So we are going to use the dimension 1080 by 1350. You can use any dimension at all you want. So I have mine open at the moment. The second thing you have to do is to search for doctor okay so you can see i have some doctors over here so i choose this particular one and this is how it's going to look like okay so i position it here and i also make it maybe not too big but i think this is okay so one thing i want us to do is i'll click on add a new page okay then i come to element then in element i'm just going to search for um you know hospital okay so we are going to search for some symbols that would um you know help us know yes this is a medical stuff or this is a medical something okay so we are going to um what can we use okay yes yeah, so we can use this one okay then i place it here and um i position it here so this is what we are going to do duplicate it and position it here duplicate arrange duplicate arrange duplicate arrange and you'll be wondering why i'm doing this what we are going to do is we are going to create a pattern that would be used for the background of our image okay so in this case i wish i wish you would click on the link below to be able to at least try canva pro you know for free for 45 days or 30 days i'm not sure of the days but so that you can be able to follow the step because with this step I'm very sorry, but you need the Canva Pro version of, you know, you need the Canva Pro version of Canva. So please do that and join me. Okay. All right. So to continue, then I select everything, paste. So you can see what I'm doing. Select all of this, paste. Okay. And I select, now I think I need just two right now. I believe so. Okay. And paste. Okay. So. Now we can select everything here. If it's not aligned, as you can just change one of the colors. Okay, so um, I would pick a color. Okay, so I had to search for some colors online. Okay, so you know, I select this one, then I just change all to it. So you can see what we have at the moment. Okay, so I would position this, you know, in the center, and um, I would group all of them. Okay, so we have them as ones. So what we are going to do is we are going to download this. Okay, so download and in download, we are going to select this. And at this point, you need Canva Pro to be able to um, download it without a background or to download it as a transparent background. Okay, then we just select the second page. Okay, done and download. So we allow it to download. Then once it's done downloading, we upload it back into Canva. I hope you get it. So that's what we are going to do now. Okay, so now it's asking me where I want to download it. I just choose maybe anywhere on my computer. Maybe the downloads and save and um, it's gone there. So now I go into uploads and in uploads, I click on upload media. Then I click on untitled design. Yes, I didn't save the design. So I click on that and it should you can see how it's looking right now then i can delete this so select this and this is what we have at the moment we make it bigger and we right click and send it to the back then we will reduce the transparency of this okay 
so something like this 17 is totally fine okay so now that we have this what we are going to do is to go into element in element we are going to go let's close this up and let's go into line and shapes in line and shapes we are going to look for the rounded square or you can just simply search for rounded okay rounded square okay so and once you have it you can just choose any of them so we position it this way and we can just increase the size something like this okay so maybe i'll have to let my doctor go down a little bit so something like this is fine and i would drop this a little bit so this is what we have at the moment then i can use um a green for this okay but i can also duplicate and let me pick a color quickly okay so i want to use this blue color for one of you know one of these so i think this should be here and um, we can bring this to the front and reduce the size and you know make it look very interesting so this is what we have at the moment okay so now we are going to choose our text okay so to do that we come into text and it should load beautifully okay so once it's done loading like how mine is done loading click on add a heading come to um this you know just click on this i always and always and always struggle to <laughs> give the correct name but you, you know what i mean okay so i would want to use montserrat for this and you know i'm not sorry to always be using montserrat i just love using montserrat okay so i choose montserrat classic and i can just say um open okay 24 hours you understand and i can have it here and you know minimize this okay not to minimize but to reduce the size and i want it to fit nicely here then maybe reduce the size more and have it here Okay, then I select all, reduce the size, bring it down a little bit, okay? And at this point, I think I would still push my doctor down, down more. Okay, so you might be wondering why I'm doing, I'm doing all of this, pushing him down. And the reason is I want to add some text to the top over here, okay? So... What I can say is we take care, okay, so increase this and um, select, okay, so let's undo and um, do this again, then we duplicate, okay, so of your health, okay, H-E-A-L-T-H, -E okay, then we are going to change this one to Montserrat Extra Bold. Okay, then you're going to center it for it to look this way. Select the two of them and increase the size. Okay. So we have something like this. Position it here. And um, we'll change both colors to the blue. Okay, nice one. So this is what we have at the moment. So I drop it down a little bit and I will increase it maybe more. Okay. Then I just drop this one down just to control the line spacing so now that you have been able to do this we're just going to add some dummy text here so i will just drag my browser here and i'll just search for dummy text okay so dummy text generator and it should load beautifully and um, let's go here quickly okay so i'll just copy all of this come here and paste it's going to look very big reduce the size and just choose any of these texts you want okay so this is what i want and um i would move it here so you can see what i'm doing so it's just you know right now we are just trying to arrange things and make things look beautiful change the color to white and um, i can change this one also to white okay and if we want with the hours 24 hours 
we can actually make bold okay so you can just select bold and um, this is what we have at the moment but we are not done yet okay we just want to add a little bit of style to what we have so let's go back into element and still with the rounded um, square okay we select this make it smaller okay you can see what i'm doing send it to the back and um, i'll just have to change the color to green so that you can see what we are doing here okay so you select it move it here and just send it to the back okay so this is what we have and i'll push it here all right so now that we have done that we are now going to add a little bit of extra information contact details then i believe that we can fully wrap up okay so what we are going to do now is that we are going to add some contact information like i said so to do that um let's search for call c-a-l-l -L, okay then i select this one or you can select anyone at all you know that catches your eye and um, we can we can drop it here okay then you can select any of these ones okay so maybe i'll just search for the green and position it here let's zoom in a little bit then we do it this way then maybe i just select any of these and i'll paste it here come on these days my i don't know what's wrong with canva but it doesn't look at what it's doing oh my goodness okay so i just select this come here you know search for this duplicate icon okay that's what you have to look for then I just add my number 233-000-4556. Okay, so you just add any number at all. This is not my real number. So I, my, my, my brain is just moving so fast. That's why I mentioned that's my number. But please, this is not my number. Okay, yeah. Then we make this one green also. So you can see what we have at the moment. Then we are going to add some social media icons. Okay, because now even hospitals have social media icons so why not add some too so i just search for facebook okay so facebook every even every freelancer you should have a facebook page not a facebook account but a facebook page so if you're watching and you don't have one you need to get one and i search for instagram okay and um with instagram also i'm going to choose this and i think we can search for twitter t-w-i-t-t-e-r okay so we search for twitter too and then we add it also over here then we select all three deselect this and we use the sizes together okay so you can see what we are doing we use the sizes together and um i think it's too small okay so you can see what we are doing then just arrange them nicely nicely okay so select this make it either green or blue we can just make this blue okay so i choose the blue color for this choose the blue color for this and choose the blue color for this okay and i can just position it here then i can maybe say something like follow us okay so i think right now canva is messing up with me so let me just do things manually because i'm kind of like the um how is it called shortcuts type of person okay so follow us and um we can just make it big over here hmm. it's very interesting that the hospital is saying follow us and i'll be wondering follow follow you for what be like oh just so that you can see some of our patients i'll be like damn <laughs> okay so we're just going to okay so i think i'll leave no i can't leave it here i'll have to drop it down okay so just you know right now i'm just trying to be clean okay so this is what we have at the moment so now let's add some few things okay so i can search for cross okay or hospital let's make some funny sets hospital cross okay so that we can um aha uh -huh, we found something cool 
so we can find this one change the color maybe this one to the green make it smaller sprinkle it somewhere somewhere here duplicate it maybe move this one down here make it blue another one make it bigger a little bit you know then maybe the last one make it you can be somewhere here so this one i'll make it green now it looks like two green so i'll make this one rather green and this one blue blue okay so blue then we we leave it here i can just maybe position it here then i think we can add some square dots okay so we search for square dots okay then once we get our square dot you know we are, there are so many options over here but um, i'm looking for the static one not okay so this is what i'm this is what i like i maybe make it smaller i can change the color to blue duplicate it maybe position it somewhere here make this one green okay now that we've done that we can add the logo but uh you can add the logo if you want and um just to also make our doctor stand out a little bit we can put this here send it to back increase it a little bit for our doctor to come up so you can see what we have been able to create so now you'll be wondering so why all of this all i'm just trying to tell you is if you are designing the most number of colors you need is two if you want to add a third color fine but the most number of colors you need is two and also simplicity is always the key and this is just what i wanted to teach you using this design and yes the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video.